All right, in this video, we're looking at the Zebra GK420D. Little snippet on this printer is discontinued, and Zebra doesn't make a lot of resources for Mac users, which is why we're here. So that bit about not making resources for Mac users is on the website somewhere. I can't really remember where, but uh, maybe this is where it is. Yeah, here it is. Zebra recommends using this cups driver for the Mac. Not sure about the full process. This is going to be a two part video. Just want to get the first half out. And then the second half, I'll explore the cups software. So, in order to get the drivers to get started, you go, this is your settings, right? And you can search printers or just scroll to it so printers and scanners and this is my list of printers I've already have several installed because I was testing the ZPL both of the EPL options and the CPCL I can tell you the CPCL will not print and the EPL I couldn't get it to print either the default for most printers will be the ZPL but supposedly the GK420D can support the EPL and a ZPL. So my recommendation is go ahead and do the ZPL. To do that, click add a printer. If you have it plugged in, it will recognize it and show up here. You just click it and you'll have your name here and you can change it, you know, whatever you want it to say. The computer you're on and you choose a driver, go to select software and then you can search Zebra and you'll have the options here and like I said I installed and tested all of them the most the ZPL prints the fastest that I've noticed and of the ones that I could get to print there is not really much difference in the print quality none of them are great but they you know they get the job done so we'll go ahead and go with the ZPL the reason I said none of them are great the barcodes none of them print perfectly straight lines and because that none of the barcodes are you know the the lines are not parallel they scan though so you should be okay all right so we'll go ahead and add that printer i'm gonna just add another one we'll call it the test we'll click add it's just telling me i have one already and here's this I'm going to make it the default. All right, so I have a label here. I'm going to print. And it didn't give me a chance to change the printer settings. But let's go back to the printer options. You want to make sure you have the 4x6. I have that as a custom option here. so. If you don't have those sizes already, you can open up the label and let's, this is Chrome. I believe any software that is gonna allow you to print. I was just using Finder a second ago. So we'll select the printer, more settings. I'm gonna go down to print using system dialog box. You have your presets here. I'm going to show you paper size, manage custom sizes. So all these are the defaults for the printer and then you can all right it doesn't want to scroll down so you can see custom papers I'm gonna to go to manage and here's my customs to create a new one we'll click plus test and then it's gonna be a four by six and if you want margins like 0.25 all the way around your label really and click OK so now you have your own size there all right then we'll print if you have any questions on this half please let me know in the comments down below as always, thank you for the likes, comments, and subscribes, and grab that coupon code on the screen and check out our website.
and I'm going to do a follow up video after this for the cups drivers and see if that makes any improvements.